it's all about the QL today, but we're trying to make sure you're doing um, QL training along with everything else. So it's very important to do core strengthening and core endurance training. You know, we we're training the QL, which is here, okay? Like a tent pole, like a strut. But we want to make sure that using your obliques, your glutes, and your lats to all help in and lock into your core to make sure that all these muscles are working. So when we do a side plank, or a side bridge, you like to call it, um, there's a movement where the sort of, the level two side plank is going from your bent knees and going up onto your knees. The level three is going from your feet. This long lead is a little bit harder. So little tips with this one, I want you to make sure that you're thinking about starting off to neutral. Now, if I start from here, I'm in a bent spinal position. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to go from bent and load to straight. I want to be straight before I load. So I want to be in neutral and my core on before I load my spine. So what that means is I've got to go from here. I want to rock back. See, now I'm neutral, okay? And then I need to post, which is bringing my elbow, think about bringing it down to my spine, there's my lat, have my hand in here, pull down, there's my other lat, and then I'm gonna go from like a squat position, stay on my knees, and I'm gonna thrust forward, and that gets my glutes. So now I'm in a side plank, and I'm really feeling that through my QL and my obliques, which is what I want, but I'm using my lats and my glutes, because I have to use my glutes to thrust upwards like a squat, and then I sit backwards. Now, you can do repetitions so I can make sure I'm in neutral, pull down, thrust forward into there, making sure my core is tight and on, or I can do endurance. So there's strength or there's endurance, and I want you to do both. So I can come up here, thrust up, and then it's about how long can you hold that for. So you might go 10 seconds, you might go up to 30 seconds, even up to a minute, as you get better and better and better. And holding that position, of course, doing that both sides and make sure you always sit back. Don't go from here and then just drop down. Okay, so you're here and then you sit back into the position. So I'm trying to maintain my neutral spine and bend at the hips, which is very important. Now, to progress that to level three, you go split legs like that, so long levers. Never go two legs, one on top of each other, because from there, I can't maintain neutral spine Okay, I'm always gonna, it's gonna be really hard to lift up. I'm always gonna put a bit of shear load through the spine. So I wanna make sure I'm split, and then I've got power through here, like a split lunge, to try and go for a squat. So I can actually rock back a lot more. See, I can sit back into that a little bit better. So then I've got my neutral spine here. I can pull on here, push through both legs, and straighten both legs, and up I go into that lunge, um, into that bridge, I should say. So sitting back into the squat, Make sure I've got neutral, pull down with my lats, bring my core on, and then straighten legs, squeeze my glutes, and hold it there. And I can really feel that through there, which is fantastic core work. And then sitting back down. And the same rules apply. You can do repetitions or an endurance event.